Mitch from Fit Figure Bootcamp, and welcome to an installment of Ask Mitch. Um, I get questions all the time by women, you know, in their 30s, 40s, who just can't seem to lose weight, or actually just keep gaining weight. They can't even stop the weight loss. And um, I thought I'd address some of the issues on the new whiteboard. Okay, um, this episode is called "Don't Spin Your Wheels," and here's the question. The question comes from Kathy. She's 38 years old, and she asks. I'm going to paraphrase. Um, she's been eating relatively the same for the last five years. All of a sudden, she's slowly figuring out that she can't seem to lose weight. As a matter of fact, she's gaining weight at about a rate of two pounds per month. Um, she is asking why her 30-minute cardio sessions five times a week, which she just recently implemented, is not working at all. It's not cracking. As a matter of fact, um, she's actually still gaining weight, and she can't figure out what's going on. Um, I don't know if she's counting her calories or not. She didn't ask me that question, but let's address this issue, okay? First of all, doing long, steady-state cardio uh, without addressing how many calories you're eating uh, and not having or being in a resistance training program, complete waste of time. Um, don't spin your wheels. Um, but 85% of women do this. Um, so let's address this mathematically, because sometimes if I bring it to the whiteboard, it's easier to understand. So, so here's the deal, okay? So you got this girl, she's like 37 or 38 years old, right? She's doing 30 minutes, oh, it's a bad, bad number. 30 minutes of cardio, okay? She's doing it five times per week, okay? She's investing a significant amount of time to do this, okay? So that's what? That's 150 minutes, okay? 150 minutes um, per week, okay? Now, at 150 minutes per week, okay, let's say she's averaging 7 calories per minute. If you're walking, you're just averaging 5. If you're running, you're 10. But I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt in saying she's like jogging, okay? So she's burning 7 calories for every minute that she's doing this, okay? That's 150 minutes a week times 7 calories, okay? That is 1,050 calories, okay, per week that she's burning from cardio. Hey, that's great. As a matter of fact, let's take this further and just say 1050 times four equals um, 4,200 calories. So every month she's burning 4,200 calories. Every month, okay? Five days a week, 30 minutes, and in one month she'll burn 4,200 calories. Wow, here's the problem. Divide that by 3,500, okay? Because that's the amount of calories in one pound of fat, okay? 4,200 divided by 3,500, okay, is 1.2 pounds of fat, okay? So it's going to take this woman 20 days out of a 30-day month of 30 minutes of cardio at a pretty decent pace to burn off 1.2 pounds of body fat, okay? Um, now... If she was in control of her calories and she knew what she was doing, then, hey, a pound a month is still success. But here's the problem that most women face, and this is why I want to address the issue when it comes to making sure that you understand how many calories you're eating, okay? Because it's really all about the calories. Let's just say for argument's sake, let's just do an example and say that the same woman who can't figure out why the heck she's not losing weight eats... 1,800 calories a day, okay? And that's pretty reasonable, okay? A lot of people eat 1,800 calories a day. Some people eat 2,500 calories a day. 1,800 calories a day, okay? Let's say, though, that she really only needs 1,500, okay? She doesn't know this because she's not tracking her food whatsoever. She has no idea, and it's only an extra couple of bites anyway. It's like one or two cookies. It's going to be the difference between 1,800 and 1,500, right? So you're looking at the fact that this woman is plus 300 calories every day. 300 calories times 7 days a week is 2,100 calories. 2,100 calories times 4 is 8,400 calories extra per month that this woman is consuming, okay? 8,400 calories per month extra that this woman is consuming divided by 3,500, which is how many calories are in a pound of fat, okay? Um, 
Let me just, I already did the math. So that's 2.4 pounds per month. Okay. Check it out, guys. Here are the numbers I really want you to focus in on. Okay? This woman is eating two and a half pounds per month over what she needs. Okay? She's gaining 2.5, 2.4 pounds per month. She's gaining that from straight up eating and not having any idea what she's doing. But because she's not paying attention to this, she thinks she can do all this walking around the block, okay, 20 days for the entire month, 30 minutes, five days a week, and she's going to lose 1.2 pounds per month. Guess what all of this means in total? That if she were to keep exercising 30 minutes a day, five days a week, okay, then, and she keeps eating the same, that means every single month she's going to gain the difference between 2.4 and 1.2, because she's up 2.4, and she's losing 1.2. So guess what? This woman who is now dedicated 150 minutes per week to exercise is gaining weight slower. That's the only thing she's accomplished. She's gaining 1.2 pounds per month instead of gaining 2.4 pounds per month. And I just want to finish this last thing by you know, just pointing out that if you don't have your nutrition on point, you're spinning your wheels. If you're not doing resistance training, and tightening and toning and increasing your metabolism, you're spinning your wheels. There's four things that happen when women want to lose weight, okay? Here are the four things. You continue to gain weight. I'm just going to say GW. You continue to gain weight. You have no idea what you're doing and you don't do anything about it. You continue to gain weight, okay? Then you do something like this example, which is you increase your cardio and you do absolutely nothing else. You don't pay any attention to your diet whatsoever. You don't resistance train. And the only thing you've accomplished is you're actually going to gain weight slower. Okay? How sad is that? You waste your energy and your time, and the only thing you've accomplished, your, your conclusion, okay, your result is that you gain weight slower than what you were doing before. That's terrible. Okay? Then there's a third scenario. Okay, this one also stinks, and that's if you stop Weight gain. I'm just writing stop WG. So that means if she were to get to a point where she cuts her calories a little bit and exercises a little bit more, you can get to a point where you actually stop the weight gain. Doesn't mean you're going to lose any weight. Here's the, here's the area where you need coaching. It's where you need to be on point when it comes to nutrition. You need to calorie track. Okay, This is where you actually lose body fat. How many people do not fall into this fourth category, okay? Most people just gain weight, walk around forever gaining weight. Some people, they want to do something about it, they gain weight slower, lose motivation in four to 12 weeks because they're just gaining weight slower. Then there's people who just stop gaining weight, but they're not losing any body fat. And that's terrible because that's, again, super demotivating, okay? And then there's losing fat. So in this episode of Don't Spin Your Wheels, if you're going to go into a program, if you're going to do something, Go all out and do it. And understand that nutrition is going to be 80% of it. Okay, if you don't know what you're doing nutritionally, then you can run around the block all day and you may not lose any weight ever. As a matter of fact, you may just continue to gain weight but slower. I hope that math helped. I hope it was clear. This is Mitch Lee, and I'll see you again on another episode of Ask Mitch, fitfigurebootcamp.com. See you later.